What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB to check it out I know you didn't already seen the thumbnail you didn't read the title and all of that But especially looking at that thumbnail and then you're thinking about everybody loves chicken today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make look. This is just a mushroom chicken now We're gonna talk about being smothered, right? Listen if you want to smother something I got this mushroom gravy that's gonna be fire folks with that being said. Let's get it now today's video is sponsored by Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning. So listen, if you invest in yourself and you invest in your personal growth, I can tell you you can't go wrong. And I use them to learn about Adobe products. And since then, I have dove in and like leveled up my game and you guys get to see the fruits of my labor. So you guys see it in my thumbnail and in my editing also. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. It's broke down in increments. You can learn as you go. It's, you know, very time friendly. I can't say nothing bad about it. Listen, when I tell you I stand behind something, I do, folks. And I want to tell you this. I'm starting to work on my culinary skills, right? So I go there to learn because I think my weakest point is baking. So you guys will start seeing me level up, learning from the skills that I've learned with Skillshare. Now check this out. Look, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Not tomorrow, do it now, folks. You gotta do it. Listen, that's 30 days free. Go ahead, let's learn. Okay, so look, now let's just go over some of these ingredients, right? Really, I just wanna show you guys what they look like. As you guys can see, I got everything broke down and measured and set aside like this, right? But then when you look over here on this side, I don't want you guys to get, let this be intimidating to you. Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. But I will talk about this right here, these Branch and Vine products, right? Listen, this right here, this is the garlic infused olive oil. Look, this right here is going to be key because, listen, we build in flavor. We starting out with the right ingredients and we trying to level up everything, right? And look, this right here is what I want to show you guys. Look, this is Branch and Vine. This is their baking salt. This right here is a major level up. And I got to say this, listen, there's no point. Pork. Look, this is a vegan product, and I promise you, if you had it, you wouldn't know the difference, but it gives you that flavor. Hey, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so look, these are all of my ingredients. I got them right here, so this is what we're finna do. We're finna go ahead and add some of this bouillon. We just add it right here. It's best to do this. You can quit mixing up all the bowls, you know, messing up all the bowls, especially if you're the one that's doing all of the dishes, right? So we'll add everything we need to go here, right? Had to add the soy sauce. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut these, right? So I got two breasts. What I'm trying to do is cut some of the, the thickness out, right? If you just take it, make sure you got yourself a sharp knife. Keep your hands nice and flat, right? And then just work it, work it through just like this. You just wanna get it just like this, right? Look at that. That right there is perfect. Okay, you guys, look. So you want to get yourself some saran wrap, right? I ain't gonna lie to you, I cut these and they are perfect, right? So I just put this over the top. This one right here might be like a little bit on the rounder, but what we want to do is we just want to get it a little bit on the flat side. I'm gonna go ahead and use my smooth side, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a couple of hits like this. You tenderizing and you flattening. This way we can get the surface to be almost about the same, right? So this right here is good. You don't want to like beat it all up and tear it up, but that right there is what you want. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you guys a little pro tip, little little something. If you guys don't have one of these little meat mallets, you can always use a, like a, a soup can. Just put some saran wrap under the bottom, take that and just does the same exact thing. Okay, so look, today I'm gonna be using my cast iron skillet, right? So look, don't forget, when you put heat on the bottom of the cast iron, it's concentrated right here. I'm using a gas burner, by the way. So listen, it's got to feel, you know, get nice and hot. And then as it does, it'll dissipate and come this way. Now I want to show you, I can feel this right now. That's ready to melt the butter, but I can take my hands. Listen, you can hear this. It still hadn't gotten here, but this is good. And obviously this is, actually this is still cold. But this right here is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in here so we can start melting. Now I, got, I can give you guys a pro tip. For those of you guys that know, you're gonna say, that's right, tell them, AB. Hey, listen, if you're using cast iron, you can always preheat your oven, right? Just say, put it at 350 degrees, put your cast iron in the inside, it'll warm the whole thing, it's ready to go. As soon as you put it down, you can start cooking. Hey, just a pro tip 101. This is nice and melted, you can see it, it's not burning, nothing like that. Now we're gonna introduce our mushrooms, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding some like this. Listen, they're gonna shrink just a little bit. It's really up to you how much, you know, mushrooms you wanna put inside of here. But for me, I like the mushrooms, you know? Now we're gonna cook these down for about 
I don't know, you cook them down to your desired, you know, softness and doneness for you. For me, under this medium heat that I have right now, this probably takes me about four minutes. So this right here is good, right? I'm liking that. I like the, the softness. They still look like mushrooms. I haven't cooked them all the way down. I'm just going to turn off the heat. You know what I mean? And now we'll just get them out. But this right here is what you want. You see that right there? That's a whole lot of goodness. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and get my station together. You know, this is where we're gonna be doing our dredging, right? So I'll just go ahead and add my flour, right? Now I'm getting ready to come with this. Listen, when I tell you this natural premium, you know, sea salt right here is fire, folks. It's that bacon flavor. We just want to give it like a, just a different type of profile, right? So I'm giving it like three generous pinches, right? Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this black pepper. Tighten it up, because there's nothing like having that in there. Now you can see I don't have a whole lot of you know, flour, right? So this right here, make it nice and concentrated. Now I'm gonna grab my whisk. We finna put this together like this. Then you can see it. So even before we taste it, you gotta have great tasting uh, flour, right? You want it to be seasoned properly. I'm looking at this right there. You just seen me put a lot of, well, so what I thought was a lot of black pepper, but you don't really see it, right? So set that like that. I'm gonna add one more generous pinch. Uh, the you know bacon flavor sea salt and again i gotta tell you guys this right here it is not this is not pork listen but the bacon the flavor profile is there folks hey i'm giving up the game and i'm telling you guys what i use uh it won't be long for everybody can just come up you know and test test it out come see me eat it and do all of that but that right there these are the things that i do to level up my food and give it great taste right but right now we're trying to make this to look the best and to taste the best because if your eyes see it and you can see the specs you know it's good okay so look i'm bringing my pan you know bringing that back up to temp right i'm gonna, right now i'm gonna be putting some of my branching vine listen this is my garlic infused olive oil right so we're gonna put like a couple of tablespoons in here you don't need much you know what i mean you just want to give it that flavor coat the bottom don't forget we got a little bit of that butter you know that butter flavor that's in there mixed with the mushrooms and all of that right so Soon as it hit this, if you got this up to temp, soon as you hit it with the infused olive oil, you can just smell it. So whatever you use into it that is infused with, right off the back, it's ready to go. So I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. Now, take a look at this right here. We're gonna take the, the bacon flavored, you know, sea salt. We're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit here in there, right? I'm gonna put some over here too. Might as well just put it on all of it. You know, right now, just a little bit. You can just let it soak in there, right? I'm gonna come back with my black pepper and just start grinding this away. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and take it since we got our station set up. And if I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but you gotta season, I mean, you know, with the salt and the pepper, you wanna do it on that on both sides, right? So we just bring this along just like this. And this is it. Kind of like just mashing it down. But listen, we got seasoned flour, we seasoned our meat. So guess what, folks? And we put this in here just like this. Yes, sir. Hey, so look, I want to show you guys this right here. Listen, when I use my cast iron skillet, I don't always put a, you know, my glass lid that I have on here, which is oven safe and all of that, right? Get yourself one of these scatter shields. You can take it off right there and look at that right there, folks. Now, I just want to talk to you about using a cast iron. A lot of times when you put meat on here, look, we always want to look under the bottom. It'll tell you when it's ready to be flipped is when it quits becoming sticky. So I'm gonna take my tong, just move it like this. Oh, and guess what folks? That tell me we ready. Now I look at the bottom of it. I flip it over like that. And look at that color right there. Right? Ooh wee. Now I'm not gonna do none of that mashing and all that. We'll let that heat, you know, cook it, work with it from the bottom. And guess what folks? We finna put this right back on top. Keep that oil in there. So that's less cleanup I gotta do. Let's cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and check them. We're looking for 165. We have 169, that's nice. This one right here says 172. That's it right there. What I'll do is I'll take a look at the bottom of them. You know I mean? It's cooking on top of that fine leaving. Oh, look at that right there. That's what you want, folks. There we go. I got a medium flame. I got everything back up to heat. I can see it starting to smoke, right? But I just want to show you something. That right there, 
I'm gonna run my, my, my whisk across it. You hear it? That's the fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a little butter in here. This is okay, because we're gonna deglaze, right? We're gonna deglaze with this chicken broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that, along with that butter. But you see that right there? I wanted you to see it so it looked just like magic. See that dark brown and all that? Ah, yeah, folks. This is how you know it's gonna be a great gravy. Okay, so look, I just loaded up my press. I adjusted my heat, brought it down some, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and make me smile. Look at that right there. Whew, that's a whole lot of goodness right there, folks. Now we just work this in. You know what I mean? Let it just become fragrant. And cook down a little bit, soften up. And then I don't know if you guys can hear it. You gotta hear it, because at first it was rough, right? But now look, all of the fine is up. This is a whole skillet full of uh, nothing but goodness. Okay, you remember the beef broth? Remember how we started out in the very beginning? We got this right here. This is nice and concentrate along with this. Now we're gonna add this. We're gonna bring this back up to a boil. And then we're just gonna keep cooking this down. You know, for about, it'll probably take about 10 minutes. We just wanna get this incorporated in everything to marry. So I'm gonna adjust my heat, make sure I'm back up on medium. And we're gonna go from there. Now look, it's back up to a boil, right? What I did was I turned it down. I'm gonna call this like a little simmer. Now I'm gonna set a timer for eight minutes because I wanna cook some of this, cook it down, get everything married just right. And don't forget, we're gonna taste as we go. But right now, we're just gonna get it like this and then we're gonna make that slurry, folks. And those of you guys have been cooking for a minute, you know what that slurry does. Okay, so look, my timer just went off, right? Look, I can see that this is nice and ready. I see a little separation, but before I go ahead and hit it with the whisk, you know, and mix it all up, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my cornstarch. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a bowl, right? So I add my cornstarch. Look, that's three tablespoons. I wanna get it all in there. Now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of cold water, mix this together. And for those of you guys who've been cooking for a minute, you know what this is finna do. This right here is getting ready to be my thickening agent to get that gravy the way we want it. I got it all mixed up, whisk good, right? Remember, that was cold water. Now we're gonna go ahead and just give this a stir like this. Now that I got this back, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just add that. And then actually I'm gonna go ahead, get a little bit, cause I wanna get it all. We get it all like this, and here's the key. You wanna go ahead and keep it moving. I know I stopped, you know what I mean? But you wanna keep it like this so you can get it nice and smooth. But you see how it activates? Look, the more and more I move this around, the smoother and smoother it'll get. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this down to like low. And we keep going just like this. Now, if it gets too thick for you, you can always add yourself a little bit of, a little bit more beef broth to it just to, you know, get it to loosen up for you so you can get your desired thickness, right? Gotta keep it moving. Now we come with the heavy cream, right? Now you'll get a chance to see it come together right in front of your eyes. Okay, once you got it incorporated like you see right here, ah yeah, this is, this is it. Then you go ahead and add your mushrooms. Now, anything left in the bowl, whatever you've been storing your mushrooms in, you wanna get it all in there. But look at this right here, folks. Oh yeah, and we got enough gravy to go in them mashed potatoes or whatever else you're gonna serve it on top of. You know what I mean? Uh, this will work right here. Okay, so look, I'm always preaching you gotta taste, right? So now we make our adjustments if any is needed. So, I'm gonna go ahead, got my spoon. I just coat my spoon. Let me hold it this way so you guys can see. Look at the texture right there. You can see how it just, it coats it. <laughs> hey, that had just the right amount of kick. As soon as I hit it, it had that splash. It don't need nothing, but I ain't gonna lie to you folks. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of this, this bacon sea salt. Just a little bit to add a little bit more flavor into there. And that's it. What we're getting ready to do is we finna come in with our chicken, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring our chicken. Move this over here like that. Cause we gonna get all of this chicken in here. Well, look at this right here. Ooh -wee. We're gonna take some of this gravy and we're just gonna come over the top. Now I want you guys to tell me, hey, listen, I know everybody be hitting me like, hey, I wish we had smell of vision and all that. This right here is incredible. Listen, we done built a lot of flavors, right? So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off 
I don't want to thicken up too much more than I am. And it's going to thicken up. It's going to continue to thicken up anyway. But this is it right here. Hey, where are all my folks at that like that gravy? And you know, I know when I make it, you guys be saying stuff like, uh, man, he should have made enough for, uh, you know, so he can put some more on the, on the potatoes and all that. I got you covered now, though, folks. You see this right here? Look at this right here. Ooh -wee. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and just, you know, plate this. Look at this right here. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to add myself a little gravy, a little mushroom gravy here. Okay, so look, before I hit the chicken, because I haven't sampled that, listen, the gravy fire, folks. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this mushroom, you know, some of these mashed potatoes, dip it and hit it again in that gravy. I got to try it like this first, too. Mm. Hey, hands down, I put this in front of Gordon Ramsay. Hey, this right here is fire. I'm not going to pop my collar or say nothing like that. It's all about tasting as you go. Listen, when you season everything just right, you know you're gonna come up with a you know a great product. Now I'm gonna just go ahead. Ooh, wait. I really did not need a uh, a knife to cut that. But check it out. Any excuse to grab a little bit more of that gravy and a little bit of that potato. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Mm. Hey, I don't want to hear it. I know y'all can talk to me down there and tell me you don't really like them, them uh, mushrooms. But listen, when they done just right, you come up with something like this. And plus, we got to break out of that same old, same old. But for all y'all that already like that mushroom, love that gravy, gravy, and you love things smothered, cheers. Mm. Hey, I'm almost ashamed to even show you the plate, right? Somebody had to stop me and say, hey, we gotta wrap this video up. Listen, just, I can't say it enough. If you taste as you go, right? And you use, you know, great quality ingredients, good quality ingredients, listen, you'll come up with something just like this. Now I got it, everybody not gonna have it, but if you can do yourself a favor, listen, get yourself some of this and get yourself some of that. These Branch and Vine products right here just like leveled up the game. Man, listen, this is like really like the secret to me. You know what I mean? Hey, it's just a few products that I use and I also use my AP, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, listen, I'm not gonna ramble. I just wanna tell you, hey, this is fire. You guys gotta try it and then come back to me and then tell me what you think about it. And I hope that I showed you guys, listen, making gravy is super easy. I got all kind of gravy videos for those of you guys who wanna know. Now, let me take this time to say this. Listen, I wanna say thank you to Skillshare. Listen, you guys gotta go out there and get yourself and check it out. Look, I got a link, you gotta click the link. Listen, the first thousand people that get on there, get the whole month for free. So even whether you get down now, you're gonna get yourself about 30, 31 days of free content. Take a look at it, cause listen, I took some of the culinary classes they have, they got it broke down so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? Uh, you could take it in a little increments right there, but listen, if they're giving it to you for free, why wouldn't you take it? I did that and you know what? You know, I always talk about doing uh, thumbnails and all of that. There's a lot of things I don't know about using Adobe products, but guess what? They got that on there too. And listen, those people know what they're talking about. If you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I got some more chicken and just a little bit of this mashed potatoes and gravy left over. And I'm about to get out of here, folks. I'm out. Peace.